Well, 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 GB. Look what we have here. Look who has entered the building. It's the Renegade Twins. This might be our first show, but this crowd knows who the Renegades are, that's for sure. And I'm sure all of you out there watching know who the Renegade Twins are. They have been all over the place. I'll tell you what, these twin sisters have really taken over uh, the whole idea of what twin magic can really look like. We've seen them in AEW, we've seen them in Mission Pro, and here they are now at the inaugural show for Championship District Wrestling. Of course, we're used to seeing them in tag team action, but tonight, Charlotte will be in singles action. Of course, we'll see Robin later on in the evening as well in singles action. But uh, Charlotte's got her hands full here with another, uh, somebody they're familiar with from the Nightmare Factory. Absolutely. That would be this lady. Hyena Hera, graduate, of course, as you mentioned, of the Nightmare Factory, filled with all sorts of great energy, and we're excited to see what she's going to do in this really high-profile match. I mean, when you think about the places where the Renegade Twins have been, for Hyena Hera to get this opportunity and potentially, you know, match up and hope to get a win, this would be a win that would skyrocket her career. Well, there it is, senior official Luis Santiago in the ring to, to, to referee this matchup, which should be quite the match. Hyena Hera taking on Charlotte Renegade. Think about this, GB. Yeah, with the Lou calls for the bell here. And think about this. This is now officially our first match here to open the main card for our very first show because that eight-man tag match that was supposed to kick off the show didn't actually happen. It certainly didn't, and now nope. we've got history being made again. Not only is this the first match, but we've got our first women's match here. And what I... And again, backslide. there was a pin attempt here, but again on the uh, entryway here, I don't know if our cameras caught it, but again, we're seeing the Diamond Sheet coming out here with his bodyguard, Austin Green. And well, again, we'll another unique pin attempt here from Hyena Hera. Count of two. And Charlotte able to kick out. You know, and, and you were wondering, after what we saw to start this show, oh, look at these moves by yeah. Hera. Deep arm drag, shades of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And now working on that shoulder, Hera, man, means business here tonight. You're right, GB, she knows what this match means. Absolutely, and again, we are right here in the heart of Atlanta. There's a lot of promotions here in the state of Georgia, but very few are emanating oh. right here in Atlanta. What a chop from Charlotte. Ooh. Ooh. My goodness. Oh, oh look at that. she blocked. She faked her out there. Nicely done. Drops down, Hyena Hera hits that arm drag, and now a beautiful single leg drop kick to Charlotte Renegade. And I'm loving what I'm seeing from Hyena Hera here. I think she understands the importance of this particular match in a, a, a standing room only crowd to get a win here and to have an impressive showing would be huge. She's oh, headed oh, to the oh. ropes. Here we heads go. Up, heads up, heads up. Oh! Cedar, my goodness. What a dive there from Hyena Hera. Out of the ring, and she's bringing the fire. She absolutely is. She is charged up, and she understands what's at stake here. Again, to win the official official first match here at CDW, this is a big deal. And now Hera back on the attack here. Cazadora attempt here. Can oh, she get her? Oh, oh, and Charlotte Renegade just hung her up to dry there on the top rope. Yeah, Hyena didn't have all it took to go behind that one. And again, the experience we're seeing from Charlotte Renegade now begins to turn the tide in this particular match. Oh, what a kick there from Renegade. And now Renegade just laying the boots to Hera here. You know, the thing is, the Renegade twins have had a chip on their shoulder from day one. No matter where they get, look at this, they know how to use the rules. They know what it takes to break the rules and get just close enough to the edge before disqualification. That is funny. That's right, they are no stranger to this business. They've been here for quite a while in the Nightmare Factory. They're kind of veterans of the Nightmare Factory. There's somebody like, ooh, my goodness. 
echoing throughout the building here at District Atlanta, that I, shop. I feel like a piece of life just left Hyena. Oh, oh, God. oh, and again, oh. You, you know, GB, they spent a lot of time, the Renegades that has spent a lot of time in Texas training with Thunder Rosa. Yes, and I'm pretty is. sure, heads up, oh, that is where they learn those vicious chops. They say everything's bigger in Texas, and so are the chops, as the Renegade twins are proving. And now a rear chin lock to Hyena Hair, but as I was saying earlier, the Renegades both kind of the veterans of the Nightmare Factory. So when some of these other female competitors come in and they train there, there's right away, there's a chip on their shoulder. Absolutely. They think, they think these ladies are coming in trying to say that I'm the better one. I'm the best wrestler in the women's division. Well, no, the Renegades have something to say about that. They absolutely have something to say, and they are not willing to allow anybody to step ahead of them. They are the proving ground, dare I say, of the Nightmare Factory. And Hyena's trying to prove herself, but Charlotte right now is back in control. Charlotte here, going to hook the lead, maybe official woman suplex here, and she nailed it, and she brings it into a pin that. attempt. Oh, I would almost say that was nearly perfect. It was a near perfect pin attempt, and, but not quite enough as Hyena Hera able to get that right shoulder off the mat just in time. Absolutely great form there from Charlotte Renegade, and she is in complete control. And look, she has a plan. She's not getting flustered at all, but look at this. Hyena jumps out of that potential quick, body slam. Quick go behind, but... Renegade able to shrug her off. And oh, look at this. Look at her. What an athletic pin attempt. Here will it be now? Two, count of two. <laughs> Not quite a shot to the gut there from Renegade. And again, back to square one here. Can she get her up and do it one more time? One more time, trying for that almost perfect plex of sorts. A big block there from Hyena. Hyena there, able to escape, at least temporarily. Trying to reverse it, and she does. What a counter. And now floats over for a pin attempt. Hook, hooks the outside leg, but not quite enough. Count of two. This is an extremely competitive match here between Hyena Hera and Charlotte Renegade. And really, it's kind of even at this point. I mean, they've been going back and forth. Charlotte has had the advantage for a little bit, but Hyena is absolutely still in this match. Quick duck under for Hyena Hera. Quick roll up now. Oh, no. Rolls all the way through. Roll through and a quick German yeah. suplex. A release Ooh. German. And Charlotte landed right on the back of her head. Absolutely. But Hera has had so much taken out of her right now. I don't know if she could take advantage and try to cover her up here. And that is a game-changing maneuver. It's one of those moves that Hyena Hera needed to switch the momentum of this match and put us like Brian McKnight back in one. Oh, look out. And the lights here, lower. Watch here, out. Here come the party lights. It's a party for sure. <laughs> It's a party here at District Atlanta, fans. you got to make it out to one of our shows. I'll tell you, the atmosphere is like none other. And I'll tell you, the game is changing as Hyena Hera is definitely hitting those strong forearms on Charlotte Renegade. She went to center in, reverse it. Woo! Hyena reverse it again, hit a double cross, chop across the chest, and a big lariat takes down Renegade. And there's another one from Hyena Hera. And a big shoulder block as well. And I'll tell you, I love the energy coming here from Hyena Hera. She is really making her mark right now. She charges in with a big back elbow right up under the jaw of Charlotte Renegade. That scream is almost primal into a snap suplex. Holds on to it. You're right, that guttural scream there from Hyena Hera. And with DDT just stuck her. Just, I mean, stuck the landing right in the center of the ring. Hooks the outside is that leg. Enough? Now, wait a second. The Diamond Sheik. Diamond Sheik up on the ring apron. And, uh, He's distracting our official here. What is happening here? The Diamond Chief, Luis Santiago. Meanwhile, wait. Wait, 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 wait. That's oh, not. Wait, is that? Wait, wait a she's second. holding the tights. But that's not. Wait, which? Wait a second. That is death. That is definitely. Wait, wait a second. That's. That is definitely... I'm not, I'm not so sure that's Charlotte. I'm pretty sure that's not Charlotte. I, I had my attention diverted. I know they're now twins. Wait, now wait, look, look here, look here. Getting up on the ring apron here. I'll tell you, this what? twin magic thing comes to work for them. And now when you've got Diamond Sheik, who owns half of the company, who's going to tell them no? Come on. This is from the latest chapter of Who's Don't Check Me, boo. Wow. And Hyena Hera rightfully upset. And who's going to take the diamond? She called Key Sweat because the answer is nobody. Wow. The Sheik has his way again. And this time it's in the favor of the Renegade Twins. A big win for Charlotte Renegade.